Hey, it's Mason, EdTech Teacher Instructor, and today I'm going to help you get started with Pages on the iPad. Remember, Pages is a part of Apple's Productivity Suite and is great for word processing, mind mapping, and infographics. When you first open Pages on the iPad, you're introduced to the Document Manager. Here, you can view past projects or hit the plus button in the upper right to start a new project. Students and teachers can choose from several different custom templates. You can browse these templates in the top right or simply choose a blank document. When editing a document, in the top left of the document, you have view options to control whether you see page thumbnails, word count, and a ruler. A long press with your finger on the iPad screen will give you more editing options, including cut, copy, and paste. In Pages, the Format button is found in the top right, and it looks like a paintbrush. Formatting options will look different depending on whether you have text, shapes, images, or charts selected. Next to the Format button in the upper right is a plus button to add additional content to your document. Use it to add things like tables, charts, shapes, and other media. And lastly, find the three dots in the upper right of the document. Here you will have options for sharing the document and so much more. I hope this quick overview helps you get started with pages on the iPad. Bye!